Before this video starts, I would just like to thank Nathan Webb for donating to me on Patreon. You can check out his YouTube channel called EVGRBLX. Link in the description. Hey guys, what's up? Today, uh, I'm going to be putting new tires on the Slash and then driving it. Um, that's about it. Sorry if my throat sounds really scratchy. I have uh, a nice cold right now. So you can see how worn down these tires are. It's horrible. Like, you can see this one has, like, almost no tread on it whatsoever. So, we have our new tires right here. Got a couple packages of them. You can get these for about, I think in total they're about 35 bucks or so. Okay, so these are the new tires here. Um, and I'll zoom in to show you the uh, difference in the tread of this versus this. It's incredible. It'd be a lot faster if I hook this up to a drill. I'm gonna see if it'll work. And I make sure I don't damage or anything. I'm gonna put it onto uh, an extremely low torque. And we'll see if this works or not. Wrong way. It works quite well. So I'll give you one more comparison here. You can see just the overall width of the tires is different because it's so incredibly worn down. I think if I just let them sit on their own like this, you can see that difference, the height difference between the two. It's very slight, but it's definitely there and it's quite noticeable. If you look hard enough. Facing the right direction, and um, guess we just gotta go drive now. Um, I'm gonna charge it up quick because you know it helps to have a full battery. So while looking at this, I gotta notice that the suspension isn't really trying to push itself back out. It's not really working. So I think this is actually lacking a lot of oil. Um, so I'm gonna open them up and see if I can put in some shock oil that I have right here. I'm not sure if it's the right kind, but it'll work. So I just have some uh, needle nose pliers here, and I'm just gonna twist this. It pops right open, and there's all the oil. And you can see there's really not too much in there. So I'm gonna add some more. Just open this up. One thing I like about these bottles is they're hard to squeeze, which makes it uh, a lot harder to overfill these. Looks like I might have overdone this a little bit. I'm going to take a paper towel here. Yeah, that's going to work a lot better. So I guess I'll repeat it on all the other ones. Okay, so I just finished with the back springs here. And I'm going to give an example of how much better it is by using this wrench. This is pretty heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the front here, and it just drops, and if I put it on the back, it doesn't drop as much. Just back, front, back, front. So you can really see how much difference there is by adding more oil. So another example I'm going to give here 
is when I pick this up and drop it a couple inches, you can see how the back will stay up but the front will hit the table and you can hear it. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so I've now completed the front and the back. So, I'm going to drop it from about the same height as earlier and it doesn't hit the table. I can even go a little higher. So, it's definitely a huge improvement.